Um, my question for you is what gender bias or stereotyping have you seen in the workplace? Because I am a single mum with, you know, three little boys um, and I've had a lot of people say to me, well, should you really be putting yourself at risk like this? Oh, you're just, you should just be at home with the kids. You speak to people at work and they say to you, well, you know, if you do that job, you're not going to, and you get to have a baby, you're not, you know, you, your future career will be gone. The people that are interviewing me, that are predominantly male senior managers in the, in the, in the organisation, and I also almost walked into that room thinking, mm, I'm not going to get this job. People said, oh, she got the job because they had to appoint a woman. I think that's one of the things that really um, caught me early in my career. Especially when we go to some hospitals, uh, definitely nurses go to the female first and give a full report. Women do seem to do quite a few administrative tasks. You know, women are doing min minutes and bringing coffee in and that sort of stuff. I've seen, um, in particularly in meetings with um, lots of men, men will often interrupt women or speak over them or on behalf of them. In a previous role, have had to battle to have my contributions and skills recognised at the same title and same pay level as a male co-worker doing the same work. Particularly in emergency management, in leadership, people generally look for the men in the room. People assume that the, the woman is not in a leadership position and defer to the male standing next to her. Staff members have walked past a colleague who has the same skills or experience as me uh, to come and ask me a question rather than than the, my female colleague. I get the sense sometimes that the tone is very much set by the previous generation and we have this lag where we're continually catching up. The bias was, you know, you were a female and perhaps they were a bit soft about what you could do. They sometimes say, do you drive the fire trucks? Do you, do you go back to the calls as well? Um, so sometimes people just don't understand that uh, females, we do the same job as, um, as the males do. I'm a chef by trade so I was cooking uh, the lunch for the, the crew and one of the middle managers came in and off the cuff just said oh to one of the female colleagues I was working with why aren't you in the kitchen doing all the food and cooking the, cooking the meal for the crew. It definitely took a lot of people by surprise and uh, for a comment like that to be said in this sort of workplace was yeah, a bit, uh, bit unfortunate. You know like when you're cleaning the um, stretches a male may say yeah you can do that that's a woman's job. I got spat at once when I was um, coming out of the station and I kind of assumed it was because I was wearing a scarf or something because there was nothing wrong. The person kept swearing at me and she spat at me, so yeah. How would you call out gender bias? As a supervisor within Victoria Police, I strongly believe that the behaviour you walk past is the behaviour you accept. I think it's important to call out inappropriate behaviour in a professional and timely manner and say that it's not okay. I would ask them why they feel that way. Trying my best to make them question their beliefs. I think it's about the terminology you use, so using gender neutral pronouns, especially um, really to encompass all genders and to promote inclusion, equality and also prevent gender bias. Um, I would definitely call it out in the moment when I see it, um, but I would also try and make an effort to call it out on behalf of people who might not feel able to. I would use my position of privilege, being a male senior leader in the organisation, uh, to be a, uh, you know, a strong ally. And it's about how we equip our people to be able to have those conversations so that they've got the skills to be able to identify and to respond. Breaking down that social norm in emergency services that um, men do the heavy lifting and women do the, the care for the community. We're breaking that norm hopefully by making sure that men are front and centre in caring for the community alongside females, LGBTQ community members. One thing that resonated with me recently was Grace Tame um, and she said when we act with integrity the tide rises with us. You know it's the human, the human element that we're dealing with and so it doesn't matter what you are, you know, you're a human that we look after and, and help and um, engage and um, sort of empower within the community. 